Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in my home garage. Today we're going to do a quick little comparison video using the Eastwood Contour SCT. Now this tool is used and abused in my shop almost on a daily basis, whether I am grinding down welds, cleaning up rust, or just preparing metal to do fresh fabrication on a new project. So what we have today here is I have a bunch of uh, one by two box tubing that I have that I'm going to be building some inner frame structure uh, for a body uh, for this 32 Ford that I'm working on. I have like a hundred feet of tubing that I need to basically clean up and I got this tubing from a local metal supplier that basically uh, salvages old industrial buildings and they have this new material at a discounted rate but it's sitting outside so it gets surface rust on it has mud it has dirt on it um, so it does take a little bit of cleanup so I figured I'd show you three different drums and the finish that you get on these on this material when you're using the SCT so the ones that I've picked today that are kind of my go-to drums number one is just the finishing drum that the SCT comes with this is a good one for cleaning metal giving it a nice grain finish but also you can do a mild stripping with it so we're going to show you that on the first piece of tubing the next one is definitely way more aggressive. This is the metal wire bristle uh, drum. This works really well for taking off rust and cleaning off metal like this. Uh, so I'm gonna give you, show you the surface finish from this. And then finally, we're gonna show you the expander wheel with 80 grit sandpaper on it. Um, I'm gonna go over this and show you what kind of finish this gives. And then uh, we'll show you what everything looks like when it's all done. All right, so that was just one side of each piece of tubing. I basically did like one, maybe two passes with each of the drums that I went over uh, to kind of show you guys what you get. Now, if we can, uh, I'll preface this with, you can push harder, do more passes, and probably achieve a similar uh, appearance on each of these, but I thought just a quick run through on these would show you guys uh, where these drums kind of work well. This is a good example. Now, they all, all three drums on all three pieces of tubing did the job. They took off the white surface rust for the most part, but for what I'm trying to do, or I'm trying to take off actually the mill scale on, on this tubing, uh, this is where you can really see the differences. So the first one here was the red finishing drum that comes with the SCT when you buy it, comes right in the box, and that is a good, uh, like I said, a light stripping drum that works well. You could strip a little bit of paint with it, um, you can finish out metal, uh, you could take a little bit of rust off, but it isn't something that's super aggressive, which is good, because you don't want to put real heavy scratches in a body panel or something like that. But on a piece like this, it took off the like loose, like light, powdery surface rust off of it, but you can see where it left some of the heavier rust that's on here that's actually like, you know, stuck on a little harder. The mill scale didn't really come off that much. All it did was kind of like clean the mill scale. A couple of the spots where I pushed a little harder, I got it to start taking away the mill scale, but it would take quite a while to get it down to like bare metal where it's nice, shiny, brushed uh, bare metal. So this, this drum would work if I had it on the, on the SCT and I just wanted to knock off surface rust real quick. Yes, it would have worked, but it didn't get down to that nice brush finish like I want all these pieces to start with before I start fabricating. The next one here is the uh, metal wire bristle uh, drum. Now that drum works really well for doing like rusty frames and stuff where there's like flaky metal, flaky rust, or it's or it's crevices and cracks and, and pits and things like that that you need to go over, or even like bolt heads and rivets and stuff like that. Works great. For something like this, again, it did the job of knocking off the real light surface rust, but it didn't really touch the mill scale at all. Uh, where it actually shined the best on this job was um, on the corners here. The other two methods didn't really touch the corners at all. And when you try and turn a corner, it actually kind of wants to put a groove in the drum if you push hard enough. Um, so with the wire, 
uh, bristle drum. It actually took the metal, you know, took it down the bare metal on the edges there and it was super easy to do. So that just kind of shows you that that drum is really good for going over irregular surfaces. Um, working those corners was really nice and, and that could be something where we could do everything with one drum and then come back with the wire, um, the wire drum and just hit these corners to knock off the mill scale and it would probably work out pretty good. But uh, it cleaned it off, probably didn't take off any more um, of the of the mill scale or the finish on here than um, than the red uh, drum finishing drum did, but like I said, it took off on the edges really really well. It got it down the bare metal really fast, and it was easy to control too. It didn't want to like grab or anything like that, which was good. So the last one here is probably the one for the job I'm trying to do today the best. Um, that was using 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, it comes on a band that goes on the expander wheel and that goes on uh, on here and you can just nice level surface you can just push down just a little bit just like the other ones and it actually will just take the rust off and it'll take the mill skill off it's almost like you're the belt sander uh so we could have done it the opposite way put it on a belt sander and just working the piece but i was kind of like the belt sander so or the drum sander so i worked with the drum all the way across this and because it's kind of like a nice level surface here it went across, it actually showed us the highs and the lows in the uh, the box tubing. All this box tubing, when it runs through the mill, when it's made, it's gonna have light tooling mark from running through the mill. So there's some spots where um, there is still a little bit of the black um, finish here that's on it, the mill scale, but it took it down to bare metal, gave it a nice brushed finish, pretty much 90% of the way over this whole thing with like two passes. And that's basically the look I'm going for. I want something that's pretty darn clean so when I start cutting and welding on this, I don't have to worry about going back and doing another process of sanding. So definitely in this case, I would say that the, the, um, the expander wheel with the 80 grit worked really well for taking off the rust and also taking off the mill scale on this box tubing. And that's the one I'll choose to do all of these pieces. I think I have like eight or 10 of them. I need to do eight foot sections. So I'm gonna go through and do all these. And uh, if we need to, I'll go back to that wire drum clean up the corners and it should be really, really good. So hopefully this video gave you guys a little bit of insight into what each of these drums do and a good example of how they can do the job, but they, they shine better depending on the job that you're doing. So if you wanna learn more about the SCT or any of the drums that we have in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys, catch you later.